Now, on Thursday, a large number of KDF personnel were visible inside Nyayo Stadium. Sources indicated earlier that KDF officers had gone back to barracks, but they were still on the streets. There is confusion in the military as different generals called different shots, leaving juniors stranded. Court stopped the military deployment after parliament approval. Despite indications of preparations for another demonstration against the finance bill in Nairobi, it actually happened. Additionally, an armored KDF vehicle was visible. The KDF officers received a briefing from their superiors prior to their deployment. After some time had passed, reports indicated that they had left the stadium, most likely to go to their designated regions of deployment. The military will assist law enforcement authorities in putting down violent demonstrators who have threatened to attack the status, which is protected territory. Defense Cabinet Secretary Aden Dolin authorized law enforcement deployments before taking this action. Dolin stated that the deployment of Kenya Defense Forces personnel was a response to the ongoing violent demonstrations in the various regions of the Republic of Kenya. These disturbances have damaged and breached critical infrastructure. Now, the Ministry of Defense and DOD are responsible for all matters after the court ruled there was no emergency that warranted the use of KDF in the country. This is MQB News.